Here's a quick tour of the chicken coop, which is not quite finished, but um, give you an idea of of what it's like. And this for me, to do something like a pet house, a dog house or a coop, it's a perfect way to practice cob because um, you, you absolutely see all the things that you would see in a, in a house. If you were to build a house, it's a really, really good way to practice, in my opinion. Now, um, I made, as you can see down here, it's quite rough, all my shadows in the way, um, a kind of stone stem wall here. First of all, I'm going to be writing a blog post on this to explain, but um, and then basically built a cob circle on the top of it and added the doors and um, and there's some roof beams and then there'll be a living roof on the top here but I haven't finished that yet so this is just roofing felt at the moment and then there'll get be the layers of the living roof such a good way to um, to practice that and have a go at that all those structural elements before you you know before you commit or go into making a house for yourself or something bigger Right, let's have a look inside. There are three doors on this coop. There's one round here for the eggs. I think Hilda's laying an egg right now. But, um... Oh dear, I, feel, I think they're gonna all try and come out. Here she is. <laughs> Hello, Hilda. <laughs> and, um, and then there's one round here at the back for cleaning. You really want three. You want a door for them to kind of go out which is smaller so that predators can't get in. Oops. Let's get that open. And then you want a big one like this at the back for cleaning. Now we can see them in their, in their realm. Oh, Hilda's laid me an egg. Thank you very much, Hilda. <laughs> and they're all gonna wanna come out now. So, but that's what it li looks like. And yes, quite frankly, I am jealous too. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice in there, it's cosy in there, and they like it. And um, yeah, it's got a lime creek floor on the bottom. You can see here the, the stone stem wall, and then you can see the, the, the frames. And how do you attach the frames to the cob? Well, you need to have kind of uh, ties going into, into the mud. And yeah, I'm going to put a post, I'm going to make a blog post to make that a lot clearer and then um, link to it in this YouTube later on. But um, yeah, so there you go. That's, <laughs> that's the cob coop. Not quite done, but nearly.